Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to look at angles created when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. We'll first look at the angles and angle pairs and their relationships, and then we'll work a very short problem. Okay, first, angles 1 and 2, they are next to each other. So these angles are supplementary, so their angle measure added together equal 180 degrees. Angles 1 and 4 are called vertical angles, and their angle measure is congruent or equal. Angles 1 and 5 are called corresponding angles, and they also have congruent angle measures. If you look at angles 3 and 6 and 4 and 5, these are called alternate interior angles, and they also have congruent angle measure. Angles 3 and 5 are same side interior and they are supplementary. And finally if you look at 1 and 8 these are called alternate exterior angles and they also are congruent. Now I didn't name every single angle here but examples and so you can locate different one, ones. Okay, let's look at a quick question. Uh, let's find angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 if you know that the angle measure of 1 is 60 degrees. Well, since 1 and 2 are supplementary, I take 180 minus 60, and that equals 120. Angles 2 and 3 are vertical, so angle 3, they are congruent, so angle 3 will be 120. And then angles 3 and 4 are supplementary, so 180 minus 120 equals 60. Now, how about if angle 1, again, is 60 degrees, what's the angle measure of 8? Well, they are alternate exterior, and they are congruent, so that would be 60 degrees. And then you could, using the same method as we just used, you could find the angle measure of 5, 6, and 7. So there we go, the different angles created from a transversal. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please.